Coming up on iPads in the Classroom, math exploration apps. Hi, my name is Guy Trenin and this is iPads in the Classroom from TechEdge and today I want to talk to you about math apps, especially ones that you can have your kids use to explore math ideas, expand on them, and practice. So here they are. Um, the first app I want to talk about is actually called Snow Day Math, and this is a great app for exploration. There are lots of tricks and there are explanations there and you can get just the basic information or you can get more. The whole idea is to create just one stack, everything go into one paper. So you get two sets and you can separate them with two fingers and then separate these two. And then you can separate the existing ones and what you're trying to do is you're trying to get two whole units and now I've got this and this and now I've got the whole problem solved. So you have to bunch it by hundreds, tens and by singles and then you move to the next problem and you can see how these problems get uh, more and more complicated over time. It takes a while to get the hang of how do you get it done, but you can break any number up like this, and then you can break it up again into its parts, and then you can, if you put them on top of each other, they'll add up again. It takes a while to do it. It's lots of exploration. Kids can do that on their own and figure out the rules and actually learn quite a bit about numbers just by experimenting. And this is what I love about this app is this app doesn't call for explicit teaching from the teacher. Instead, it calls for kids exploring and then you can have a discussion about what you've learned or if kids are doing this at home or in the class, if you have to keep them in for recess, for example, um, around here, there are snow days, kids, uh, even if they do go to school, can't go out. So this is one of those things that they can do during a break that will teach them something but are not necessarily part of a formal lesson. So this is snow day math. The next one that I want to talk about is one I've talked about before and it is just practice of different uh, different operations and this is called Yodelo, Yodelo Math from Spinlight and it's a great little game. It has many aspects of a game. It's not just about solving the problems and it is a little bit about speed. So you can see and I'm not going to play the music right now simply because uh, that music uh, is Yodel music and it's not necessarily everybody's favorite. You pick up a game and this is with all the operations and now what you do is it presents you with a problem and it presents you with a little uh, guy that goes up the hill and if that guy goes all the way up the hill he will fall down and that'll be the end of the game. So you get points very very slowly and if you slow down it starts erasing those targets which means that you're losing uh, very very quickly and you can see that you can go through this if you answer a wrong question he starts moving up a uh, wrong answer he starts moving up and there are little goats that would uh, bump him up as well. Although you can get to those goats and get some points, so that's how you do this. Lots of practice, very fast paced. It gets more and more complicated as time goes on. This is all low math and it's a great way to have kids practice their operation and get more automatic with some basic operation. This one is not very good for kids who are just starting on operations because they're not yet ready for fluency, they need time to calculate and this kind of an app would actually push them to guess and to try and go faster because if they go at their natural speed it's simply not going to work out. So you have to be really careful about what age group will work with a game like this. However, if they are good enough with basic operations and they all they need is practice to get more fluent, this is a great app to do that in. So this one is Yodelo Math. The next app that I want to talk about is actually called Oh No Fractions. And in Oh No Fractions, again, an app we talked about before, what you do is you practice different ideas about fractions and you can explore them. So the fractions get compared 
for example, you can compare two fractions and say which one is bigger. You can guess this one is greater. You can say I'm sure and it'll say that's great. Or, and this is important, you can prove it. So what you do is you actually look at those divisions on the board and I've got six eighths on one side and four ninths on the other. And that's how you can see that the sixth eighth is actually greater than the four ninths. That's much simpler to do when you can actually see those different fractions and see that you're right, or even if you were wrong, see why you were wrong. So you get a much better sense of fractions, which is something that is really hard for kids to get on a first try. Uh, the concept is harder than whole numbers, and we know that kids struggle with this all the way into high school, so this is a way to get a lot of practice. But more than practice, it's a way to get the hang of it, to start having a picture in your mind about what do they mean, how do they compare, how can I do this? Because you can actually translate this to work that you can do on paper in trying to understand fractions and eventually get that intuitive sense of how fractions work and that ability to calculate. So this is oh no fractions. Uh, you get the ability to compare for free. You have to pay for certain other operations so you have to consider if that's something you want to do. I think it's one of the best ways to teach fractions and to have kids experience fractions that are out there. The next app I want to talk about is GeoBoard. If you've got younger kids and you want them to explore polygons. GeoBoard is probably one of the best ways to do that because again this is intuitive, exploratory, all you do and we've all done this when we were younger we had a board with nails and some kind of an elastic band that you can get through and this is a way to start talking about shapes and what happens when they change and how angles even change so you can go this complicated. This one has a second page so you can actually open a much bigger uh, board that has more options. You can use different colors, you can make these shapes more complicated. It's very intuitive to work and this can be open exploration or you can have kids actually have assignments that are tied to this. For example, taking a shape like this and then dividing it into different triangles, learning that all shapes, all polygons can be divided into triangles and what kind of triangles. So you can have a lot of talk around it or just experimentation, especially with young kids, just creating shapes, adding them, creating a more complex shapes with multiple polygons and things like that. So this is a GeoBoard. The next app and the final app I want to talk about is Sketch Explorer. Sketch Explorer. And Sketch Explorer is an app that allows you to actually explore concepts in math. Uh, you have an example right there of the Pythagorean uh, theorem with the right angles and the different squares that go into it. So it's a way to reimagine the algebraic side of math in this case as a geometric in geometric concepts and you can change the proportions so you can go into this and get more of those triangles on top of triangles and you can see that structure in space and uh, you can show the measurements so this is another way to think about it you can go to the concepts and see other concepts for example the concept of slope in algebra and so you see that there's materials but you can also have the background to it so here's again the right triangle the different sizes you can show it as a fraction you can show it as a decimal. So you can see that there are concepts here to explore. And one of the great things about this is that you can start adding layers here, experimenting and really learning. So again, this is one of these apps that might be a great way for kids to start exploring. For example, if you've got kids that are advanced in your classroom, other kids you're, you're helping, you're supporting, you've got kids that can run forward and do some new things, you can give them an app like this and have them explore and then report at the end of class, what did they learn, what are the things that they liked, what concepts did they get. 
which gives you an idea about how, what you might do with them next and how you might go about it. So today we talked about some apps that help exploring in math, help a little bit of practice, and this is something that can happen in the classroom, it can happen during an indoor recess, or it can even happen at home when kids are sick or if they're off and they can't go out during the weekend. And I'll see you next time on iPads in the Classroom.